Hey folks, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to just kind of continue on with the point I was making yesterday about the major theme on this channel and why I feel like this discussion is so necessary. So with psychedelics, there is a significant problem. And I think uh, what we see right now in the kind of uh, promotion and legalization landscape of psychedelics and the kind of science discussion around psychedelics and the therapy discussion around psychedelics, we see all this enthusiasm and we see all of this kind of like well, uh, as someone who's used psychedelics for 30 years, from my point of view, looks like a lot of naive understanding of how to use psychedelics for healing purposes from these kind of uh, voices that carry a lot of gravitas and a lot of kind of weight. And so I think there's a lot of misunderstanding still is what I'm saying here and a lot of misapplication of how to use psychedelics optimally to really heal or transform. And in specific, I, I think there's a real problem with psychedelics. And this is why I'm so passionate about bringing these other kind of frameworks to understanding psychedelics, including, you know, therapeutic understandings, philosophical understandings, cognitive understandings and cognitive science understandings, obviously neuroscience understandings, which there's already quite a bit of that, uh, spiritual understandings, which there's also quite a bit of that. But it's really about the intersection of these things and how these all, in, you know, connect and fit to create a bigger picture of understanding. See, the problem with psychedelics is essentially that if you're new to psychedelics, you, you may not you may not have caught on to this yet, but or maybe you have. <laughs> but uh, basically, with psychedelics, we get a mix of useful and not useful experiences and content, right? So you will have moments of absolute clarity. You will have moments of profound breakthrough of connecting to parts of yourself you forgot about or understanding your issues very clearly and it'll be real clarity right or you'll have experiences of profound connection to new resource states feelings you didn't even know you're capable of that are so positive and so good and life affirming right this is this is very real and this is very much the the upshot the the positive side of psychedelics and very much their utility when it comes to healing and personal growth and personal development right but Concurrent with that, you also get a bunch of experiences that are distortions, that are false understandings or false realizations that feel very true but aren't. You get a lot of just kind of junk gobble, gobbledygook or projections coming up, right? You also get, you know, which might even be more dangerous here, you get a lot of mixed information that is partially true but partially distorted or partially true and partially incorrect. And we really need to have a way to be able to sift through and organize and parse this information to be able to really, really use it well when it comes to healing and growth and awakening and self-actualization and all these wonderful things, right? And this is why I feel like it's so important not to just rely on psychedelics or just on the realizations or just on the epiphanies or just on these peak experience states that we might have. It's really important to bring frameworks of understanding. It's really important to bring skills like understanding how the mind can distort things, right? Understanding cognitive biases, uh, understanding, you know, different ways that we can use language to distort things, understanding, you know, when we are miscategorizing stuff, understanding projections and core beliefs versus, you know, accurate, you know, perception of things, really getting a feel for these differences is super useful to psychedelic work, right? Same thing with uh, emotional work, knowing how to process emotions, knowing how to be present with difficult emotions, knowing how to kind of uh, engage emotions somatically in the body as felt sense, right? These are all incredibly important psychedelic work. Uh, having some sort of a spiritual framework or a philosophical framework, some sense of ont ontology and ontological framework, understanding epistemology, all of these things really, really matter when it, when, you know, the rubber meets the road with psychedelic in your nervous system, helping you to have some sort of a transformative experience in order to heal. We need these other tools in place, right? And what I see a lot right now is just different forms of people being enthusiastic to take high doses, you know, maybe under this kind of guise of therapy or this, you know, even therapists kind of running sessions that are essentially like just blindfold, and take the medicine, I'm just gonna sit here, hold space with you, make sure you're okay, and then whatever comes up for you, you know, we'll talk about it afterwards. And that model, I think, is highly inefficient because, you know, <laughs> because there are all kinds of layers of 
you know, is what the person perceiving inside of themselves accurate or clear, you know, or coming from an already formed perception of something, you know, or is this new raw, you know, data and information, et cetera, et cetera, right? So psychedelics pose a lot of challenges and problems. And I think that really what they do is they reveal the deep complexity of the mind and of the nervous system. I think they really show us how broad and expansive and nuanced and multi-layered and multifaceted the internal experience of every human being is. And ultimately that's a gift. Ultimately that's a beautiful thing and a positive thing to get clarity around that and really be in touch with that. But it means that we need a really robust, dynamic, flexible, large skill set to be able to meet people in all these different ways, right? And so this is why I'm doing this channel. This is why I'm talking about this stuff because I feel like a lot of what I see, even in the therapy community, is overly simplistic, a little naive, perhaps, you know, fueled by people who are new to the medicines or fueled by models that are really built for studies, right, rather than for real practical application of healing, you know, sessions, uh, you know, or there, or the, you know, the huge dominance in the psychedelic, you know, discourse that's rooted in shamanism, which I have a lot of respect for. It's an incredibly beautiful art form, but there are it's a particular worldview with a particular set of biases and a particular set of blind spots because of that. And what I really want to see and what I'm really passionate about and the reason I'm doing this channel and sharing this with you is I want to see a well-rounded set of tools articulated clearly that accounts for all the different blind spots in different kind of models of understanding so that we are not, for example, being biased by the blind spots in science or biased by the blind spots in a particular spiritual worldview or biased by the blind spots of a neuroscience lens on things or biased by the blind spots of a particular modality of therapy. For example, IFS. I love IFS. I'm learning a lot about it. Uh, I think it's really interesting. It's all the rage in the psychedelic therapy community, but it, it's one model and it has limits and it has you know blind spots to it and it has core assumptions built into it that may not be totally useful, et cetera, et cetera. So I know I'm kind of rambling a bit here and, and ranting a bit here, but the point is if you're new to psychedelics, you know, either as a therapist running stuff or as someone using them for your own healing purposes, there's a deeper set of issues, you know, problems, challenges, you know, nuances, complexities that arise with using these substances. And so I really think that we need to be building a better map of how to work with these. And, you know, I know I'm not the only person thinking this. I know there are a bunch of other people out there doing this work in private or low key or in research settings that haven't come forward. So surely I'm not the only one thinking and feeling this way, but that's really why I'm doing this conversation. So this is why this channel may branch off into, you know, deep studies of personal development or deep studies of different therapy concepts and approaches or spiritual ideas and approaches. And I think there's kind of a, an understanding that gets unpacked when we look at the intersection of all these things. That's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it through this video, it's a little longer than anticipated, but it's an important point to make. So much love to you all. Uh, please leave a comment down below if this resonates or a thumbs up or a like, or, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're new and this is your first time seeing me. Much more content on the way, trying to get these shorter bites of information out uh, more frequently to you guys. So I will see you soon. Much love to you all. Have a beautiful day. Take care.